All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. So I, um, this is sort of a part two. If you saw the video from a couple of days ago, it might, might have actually, I think it was two days ago, but uh, we're back at um, Ladoga here. Actually, I think I might reposition our boat a little bit. We have been in this position for most of the day. So let's raise the anchor and reposition. Uh, but this is the um, the using of a um, wacky rig to basically just sit in your boat and and um, let them drop to the bottom, lift them up, and catch fish. So uh, last time I was casting them back out over and over, and, and we caught quite a few fish that way, but folks have pointed out that uh, doing this, you can actually, we'll go ahead and drop the anchor here, you can actually just get them cast out and then just press right click to lift them up and let them drop again. You don't really need to reel them in at all. So um, hopefully we'll sit here. Uh, so far what I've caught, it's, it's been pretty good. Of course it's you know more Xander again. But we've also had three red char this time. Um, no regular char, which last time we had regular char, not red char. So it's kind of backwards. We had one white fish, even a Vimba. Uh, which is kind of odd. Um, but, you know, with Wacky, you can pretty much catch anything. Still a lot of perch, but, you know, that's fine because you are getting other things as well. So this setup is the same setup as what I used last time. Um, and so this is still working. It is the other setup that I've tried to do something different with because, as you will know, if you have fished this spot, you can occasionally hit a fish that's frankly just a little too big to catch with our little ultralight setups. So this one, we've got a lot more strength behind it. And we're using a heavier happy hook so that we can cast it, you know, at least a little ways. And I'll show you what I've been doing. I'm max casting, but then I am letting it drop a little bit before I close the bale to get a little bit more line out. Um, you know, to give it a chance there to get a little more line out. So, and then I'll just switch back and forth between the two lines, see if there's a fish on. If there's not, then I just hit right click and lift it straight up in the air and kind of let them both drop. Uh, and eventually you'll, you'll hit a fish. So you cut out the time of having to cast them back out. And apparently as long as it's not just you know, dragging on the bottom. I mean, wherever it is in the water, it seems to work. I mean, I've had, I've used, I've tried some different setups, but I've, I've had fish bite even when the line wasn't that far down. So I don't know that you have to do as long a cast as I'm doing. Um, but I've been having pretty good success. I'm looking at this left line because I'm certainly getting more bites on the left side. This bigger setup, I still am catching fish over there, but it's certainly not the same bite rate as on the ultralight. And so I guess the difference is on the ultralight side, I'm using the smaller, it's the same size hook uh, or same size hook range, but it is the lighter hook and it's a much lighter leader, right? So I guess that is making the difference uh, potentially. Over here, we've got a heavier hook and a much bigger, we got another fish on. Uh, a much bigger line. So that seems to be, because I was really hoping if we could have the same result with bigger gear, then you can't, you wouldn't run into the, the situation that we are running into some, you know, even like a, even like a four kilo Xander is just a real pain to bring in on the ultralight. I mean, it's kind of fun, but you know, that just shows you if you happen to hook into a, I mean, obviously a sturgeon or even just a big, really big burbot or um, there's all kinds of stuff. You know, I think a trophy Xander is going to give you a run for your money. You probably would eventually get it in, but uh, I don't think I've closed the bail yet actually. Uh, but it's, you know, so very specific fish. I mean, ideally what you're wanting to catch on the ultralight is just like really nice char and Xander are fine but um, they can be a pain on that size leader. But unfortunately, I don't think the bigger setups, at least the ones that I've tried, 
just haven't had the same bite rate. Uh, I guess you could use like a medium or a, a medium light and get a little bit more power. You know, I do have, uh, like we can try that really quick. I do have some of those. Um, in fact, I have that minister reel that I like a lot. We could probably set it up on that. So let's see, one of the things I had tried it on was the Armada and uh, it was fine, but it just, um, it just, you know, it's just not the same bite rate. But if we use, what am I thinking of? I've got a, I think it's this one. Yeah. So if we set this up, first of all, let's keep this going. If we set this up as a um, wacky, the test on this is really low, right? It's just a light instead of ultralight. So technically I can get a little bit more, a little bit more power out of this. Um, and we can use the really light hooks. So let's try this. So this will be a little bit better maybe than ultralight but not by much unfortunately it's still it's just not by much going to be better but i do like using this setup so it'll be fun to have this out i haven't tried it on this yet and if i don't get a bite after a while i do tend to go ahead and um recast them eventually uh but i don't know that you have to i mean i think you can just sit here keep lifting them up and down eventually you'll catch a fish on it that's a nice black white fish that's a good sign first one is pretty good uh, so i'll keep lift, list, lifting this one just a little bit more to see if we do in fact get a fish over there and then we'll recast it because you can see on the on the other one we're getting fish after fish on the cast which is nice. Lake trout. I really like this little minister reel though. All right, if we don't get one on this drop, I'm going to recast this one. an okay fish nothing special so let's keep this one moving I say it's nothing special I mean I guess if it's a there's some fish species that this could be pretty nice but yeah like that's not bad I think last time I did this I although I did catch some of those uh, white fish, the black white fish. I never had a marker. So it's been nice to, to see some markers. Um, also with the Ladoga white fish, that was a nice one, but we've had what, two or three marker black white fish now. So now we just keep them going. And once they drop back down, lift them again. And the other technique people are using, which I haven't tried yet, is what they're doing is basically like this. They are, now they're using the other boat because they can see what speed they're going. But they would basically like just move forward a little bit, which is going to pull the 
lines up and then stop. And kind of letting the, the motor do the same thing. But I like, um, I think I like doing it manually better so that I can see what's going on back here. Now it's getting a little later, so some of the change in bite rate could also be the time of day. Uh, but I mean, pretty consistently catching fish like this out here, and, and that's with switching up my setups. Um, you can catch fish on the larger setups, and then you don't have to worry about it. I just don't think it, for me at least, it wasn't, it wasn't the same bite rate. I was having to work a lot harder to get kind of the same fish in. Just, I mean, not, not work harder to get them in, work harder to get them to bite. Um, so I don't know. I don't know at that point if it's really worth it. Might just be better to put up with the tough fights. And if you get, you know, if you get something that's obviously, you know, that you're just not going to ever get in on an ultralight or a light setup, then might be worth just letting it go. Moving on to the next fish. Because you could do a lot of damage, as someone was pointing out in the chat, in the comments. You could do a lot of damage to a, a nice little reel if you sit here and fight a, what, like a 12 kilo sturgeon for a, a day and a half or something. And, and it's not going to pay. I mean, it's you're going to be losing a lot on that transaction. So I guess you got to, you know, just, you're taking a chance, but you also just have to be willing to say okay i can tell this fish is not this is a this is a lose situation so but that hasn't really happened to me yet so i'm not i don't you know i just i think it is possible um so you gotta be ready for that Let's see if we can get a couple more minutes of finishing and then i'll fishing in then i will wrap it up i really just wanted to report on now that i have um had some folks in the community kind of give me some suggestions on better ways of doing this and I've you know obviously I've tried it now and and sure enough it's been I think it's been a lot more efficient it's been more fun we're not casting all the constantly like I was with the um, the other process so I definitely prefer this way uh, we've got something on over here I think we're fine. Maybe. Yeah. We're going to be good on this one. But I'm glad it works on this light setup. I mean, we're not getting the ultralight boost to experience, but we're getting a little more power out of this this setup than we would be with, you know, using a second ultralight setup. So this is a good balance. Uh, in fact, if I had two setups like this, I'd probably use these setups over ultralight at all. Cause you're still getting that really small test. So you can use the smaller hooks and setup stuff, but you're not, um, you are not sacrificing your bite rate just to have a big, strong piece of equipment out here. I really thought that one had a fish on.
Uh, I'll cast it one more time. We'll wrap it up here in a minute. Uh, we'll, we'll go see kind of how we did, see if silver's any better this time. I don't remember how much we made last time, but this feels like it was a better day. I, I would say it was certainly more fun. Nice, uh, nice mix of species. And during the daytime, very consistent bite rate, especially if you have two, you know, ultra lights out there or smaller setups. See how much slower it gets. This is, so we're after midnight now. Slows down a lot. You know, I could see using the boat to move forward just a little bit so that it doesn't look like the lines are just like straight down beneath you. If you pull them up like this enough times, eventually it's like, you know, looks like the lines are going straight down, which still works. I just don't like the way it looks. <coughs> Bless you. All right, let's go see how we did. Mm. This has been fun. I think, I, I mean, I, I did that technique a lot of this in-game day. Um, and I really just kind of wanted to confirm that there were better ways to do it than how I did it last time. I think, I feel like I've confirmed that. I don't think this is like my favorite way to fish though. Like a, it's kind of a cool distraction every once in a while, but I probably wouldn't want to spend a lot of time doing this. So it doesn't look like any lucky orders. We might have been close on that whitefish though. We certainly got the perch order, which is nice because unless you want bait fish, but you know, we're using perch that wouldn't have been worth anything. Got 10 silver. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's see if we made any silver. Primarily, like I said, it's Xander, three red char, and then three different whitefish. Uh, by price. So the red char is worth the most. And it comes in at 267. Not bad. 
not bad. Now that I'm kind of settled on the rods I'm using, you're probably up that a little bit per day. But in my opinion, if it's decent trolling, you're going to make more trolling, right? You can have a slow day trolling and make more than 267. So if you're having a decent to good day, you're going to make well over that. So like I said, it's fun. Uh, it's an interesting way to set some UL records and all that kind of stuff, but probably not for me in terms of something I'd want to spend a lot of time doing, but a fun little distraction. All right. Thanks for the suggestions uh, to everyone that watched the last video and said, hey, try this or try this. And I just kind of picked one of them that seemed like it made the most sense to me and went with that. But um, I will uh, see you next time. Tight lines.